Welcome back to Vader Vision. Today we are just doing a straight tutorial on how I build some simple stands for hydroponic trays. I prefer to use 2x3 studs over 2x4s. They are slightly cheaper, easier to work with, and still easily handle the weight of a full 4x4 hydroponic tray in an ebb and flow setup. For each stand, we're going to start with four 2x3 studs. If you're building two stands at once, you only need nine because the center bracer bar actually only takes up about three feet, so you're going to have half a stud left over. But here we can see we need two four feet sections, we need three three foot sections, and then we have eight pieces that are at 20 and a half inches for the legs, and we're going to screw everything together using three inch screws. This way we can get all the way through each of the studs. For the legs, we're going to screw two pieces together, so this way we can mount them against the top frame and there won't be any wobbling in the leg, get a nice secure connection. So that's why we double up on the legs on the bottom. Here I'm just going to pilot a couple holes, set a couple screws in for each leg, and we can see that we've got a bit of an L pattern here. Now I would like to note, I'm not sure why I put them originally at 20 and a half inches, but since all of my stands are that way, I'm going to keep everything uniform. But you could simplify this with making the legs 20 inches. You will still have plenty of room between your reservoir on the bottom and the tray up top. Now we're just going to set the frame up on top where the tray will rest. I'm going to go five inches out on my four foot pieces and place my three foot pieces on the outer part of the frame stud on that line. This setup allows a 4x4 tray to rest comfortably up top and be supported really well while still avoiding the down tubes from the hoses to be in the way, giving plenty of space in front and behind the tray as well. Now, one of the reasons I use three foot sides and they're not any longer is because I used to flood up from the front of the tray and drain out the back of the tray, so I needed room for hoses to come up the front and out the back. I no longer do that. I pump both hoses right up through the front of the tray over time, I never saw any actual benefit to the plants for running the water flow through the tray. Seemed like a good idea at the time when I was first starting out, but logistically it's just easier to flood and drain them from one section. Although I did switch the drain system up, I have stuck to the same pattern of tray stands over the years. Here we can see we're attaching the legs, I'm just putting a couple of screws through the front plates, and then on the sides, I'm just driving in one screw as a little extra support. That way you don't get any wiggle action going on in the legs. Now we are going to put the centerpiece in, although just a note, about a half inch or so needs to be shaved off the third three foot piece to get it as a center bracer. Sometimes my measurements of the five inches off the four foot pieces in the front and back are off just slightly, so I generally wait to shave that piece down until the very end so I know it'll fit nice and snug. We're gonna finish off this stand with a couple of screws in the center bracers as well, and we'll have a nice strong stand that'll support anything we can throw at it. So a pretty simple stand, lightweight, easy to move around, plus you can always remove the legs if you need to transport it to another location without breaking it down too much or starting from scratch. Well, as we can see, we built two stands for our little four by eight test area. They fit perfectly in here. They comfortably fit a couple of 40 gallon reservoirs from Botanicare. And if you get the 70 gallon reservoirs that are the same width, but a little longer, these tray stands also work just as well. Well, a pretty basic tutorial. And of course, all of these measurements can be modified for different trays or different reservoirs, but hopefully it at least inspired you to design a simple solution for your particular needs. All right, well, thanks for joining me today. I'll be back again soon enough. So until next time, I'm Vader, and I'll see you later.